Hey Gemini, welcome back to my channel. I am Crystal Moon. So I have decided to pull a spirit message for you. This is a timeless message from spirit. So whenever you come across it, hey, this is when you're meant to hear it, okay? So I started off here first with um, pulling three animal spirit oracle cards and the first card that came out is Mouse Spirit, and it says, Tend to the small things, okay? The next one is Snake Spirit, okay? And it says, Time to heal. And last is Cat Spirit, Claim your independence. So, off gate, Gemini. I'm really feeling there is a sense of you needing to heal, of course, um, and move into a more independent self, a more assurance of who you are, you know? And I'm feeling like spirit is saying, hey, you know, like let's not focus on all the big things around you, the big drama or the big issues that may have not really, you know, have anything to do with you, okay? Or at least have anything to do with your um, inner spirit and higher self i feel like they're wanting you to focus on you and i feel like gemini you possibly have taken on a lot of responsibility um or you know like taking on other people's problems in a way you know thinking about them um feeling like you have to help and solve their problems and I feel like Gemini, it's something that takes a toll on you. Um, and I get it because I feel like you want to help. You naturally want to help. But I feel like Spirit is saying, hey, you know, let's, let's hold back on that, okay? Let's focus on the smaller things, meaning like let's focus inward. Let's focus on yourself. Let's focus on the things that, you know, are actually in your field here you know the things that you have to deal with not the bigger um picture of other people's issues i guess in a way like that's what i'm feeling like so whatever you're directly attached to that or you're directly um having to deal with i feel like that is the focus um so it's not really about the issue i'm not getting like it's the issue being big or small i'm getting more like Focus on the small, so like you center yourself and the things that are around your center, the ones that are closer in, the smaller intimate things are what you need to focus on. And everything else that is more outwardly, that is, you know, farther in your reach to not really worry about that because those things are really not in your control, even though I feel like Gemini, you really want to help. But I feel like moving in this direction to focusing on the small things will help you heal whatever it is that you need to heal to gain that independence, okay? And I don't know what your situation is, but that's just what I'm I'm feeling like to um, heal from any kind of, you know, like if you're like having low energy or something, or you're feeling drained all the time, or you're giving out too much and it's time for you to reboot, it's time for you to like, you know, uh, recharge so you can claim that independence, so you can claim that power back. <clears throat> So I did pull some tarot cards out here for you um, from the wild and unknown tarot deck. So the first I got was, you know, the night, the night, because <laughs> I'm looking at the moon, the nine of cups and um, then followed by the ace of swords and the heart font. So I'm really getting a sense here with the nine of cups is that you're in this stage or this phase like you know like I feel like kind of that inner self with that circle I feel like you're in this stage of where you're needing to focus more on yourself because because I really see like the moon being your inner deepest thoughts and emotions and feelings and it's kind of like coming back around to that like let's reassess okay and I feel like reassessing those things will make it more or make you feel more happier, more fulfilled, okay? Um, I'm just really, really getting like honed in 
you know, like a honing in, let's focus here. And when it says tend to the small things, you know, I think small, so like a pinpoint, let's really pinpoint what it is here that you should be focusing on because the Ace of Swords is like the clarity is gonna come through when you do that. When you stop allowing the other things that are around you that are not within your reach in a way that you cannot control, right? That may have nothing to do with you, but you have that sense that you want to help. And I feel like it's saying, no, let's focus back on you. Let's focus back on what you want. Let's focus back on your thoughts, your emotions, your feelings, you know, what is it that makes Gemini happy? That's what I feel like it's trying to tell you. And to gain that knowledge and clarity and to hold on to that, because with that higher font, I really feel like you, you know, have the key to that. You are the key to what's going to unlock um, your independence and get you through this time of recharge and healing. Uh, you have the five of wands and the magician and the mother of cups underneath the snake spirit and when I first saw this when it first laid out immediately I got with the five of wands you know just scattered right just all over the place I know Gemini energy we can I say we because I have a moon in Gemini but I know we tend to think and go in many directions right and we want to help so many people and we want to find solutions and our brain is always going it's just you know Gemini's brains are always moving always going thinking 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 and I feel so scattered when I see that but when I laid it out and then I saw the um seven is that a seven I can't see from here seven of uh pentacles laid out how organized that is and that is the energy you were going to be moving in towards you know a very more structured organized state I think for yourself because I feel like you're going to need some kind of structure there for you Gemini whatever situation you might be in whatever you're dealing with you know big or small even though I'm feeling spirit saying let's focus you know more inwards smaller let's think of the things that we can pinpoint that you can heal from you know the things that you know that you can move forward from learning from and with that um five of wands so you i got that you know scattered energy all over the place but you know the magician is right underneath and that's saying to me just like the higher font you have the key you have the tools to make this happen you have the tools to help you heal you already know how to heal yourself and most of you probably do it's just you taking that time to step back and stop focusing on everything else that's you know that you can't control and start focusing on the things that you can control i feel like here with the mother of cups that you know be protective of your energy like that is what i get like be protective of your energy and kind of watch over it because i feel like you can easily be drained gemini and so protect that okay it'll move you into this you know future energy if you're not already there or heading in that direction um to claim your independence like the cat spirit all right you got the nine of pentacles out so that's a really like a focused hone in on you know you i i'm really seeing like that's the eye of the prize very like it's gold I mean the coins are gold in this picture and it just stands out like you are magnificent you are beautiful you know you are you care for yourself you hold yourself you know with grace and dignity and um, I'm getting a real sense of just self-centered but not in the bad way you're just taking care of you and kind of being independent right I mean the nine of coins does stand for independence so just being very independent but I see the focus is on you in that photo like and kind of claiming that coin you know saying yeah I'm worth it yeah you know I'm worth something or however you want to look at it like I I have meaning I have purpose all right I can give back to others I can do things for others but at the same time I'm getting the feel that you know keeping it protected which is the same energy feel I get from the mother of cups protecting you know your energy protecting you protecting your sanity yourself um but still I feel like when you move into this independence you are going to be able to give I feel like you're going to be able to give better you're going to shine brighter all right you're going to have more organization more structure that keeps you leveled and know 
um, and kind of like a, what is the word, like maximize or minimize, whichever, how would you look at that? You know, like to um, reserve your energy because it's more ordered and structured, you're gonna know how much to give out. It's not gonna be like five of wands where you're just throwing it all out and people are just grabbing sticks and trying to fight over whatever they can, you know, whatever scraps that, of energy that you can give them. Like that's the feel that I get. So you also have the Ace of Wands here. So that's just, you know, that ignition, ignition, igniting of passion and creativity. I feel like, you know, when you come into that um, independent phase of where you want to be, it's just so structured, it's just so shiny, it's just so marvelous. You'll also have like, this spark of creativity and your light will shine brighter and I feel like your light will shine brighter because you have protected the things that are worth it for you you have the tools here Gemini to heal and recharge on whatever it is that you need to do okay and not to focus on things that are beyond your control so I'm really getting that with that key. Like you have the key, you have the key to the door that's gonna open you to that next um, step of feeling free and independent. And I just see a lot of light over here, you know, just with the wand and the um, and the nine of coins. Like it's almost like this wand energy is backing that uh, nine of coin energy. So. I feel like there's a balance in there. You'll find a balance and the structure that you need to reserve yourself, okay, to keep from expending more energy than you need. Um, so, yeah, if this has helped you at all, Gemini, please leave me a comment below. I greatly appreciate it, and I love you guys. And until next time, I'll talk to you later. Bye.